Hello and welcome back to the Fish Locker Workshop. Me and my assistant are going to quickly show you, I call it just a joining splice, but that's all it is really. It's a splice which is like feeding the rope back into itself and it's for joining two pieces together. Now I use this in particular, oh, you've got a big fish, you just stay there. I use it for joining two pieces of rope together on an anchor rope. The reason I say specifically an anchor rope is because when you're using an Alderney rig for retrieving your anchor, if you have to join two pieces of rope together and you use, say for instance, two loops, which is very strong and very easy, as in you just join two loops like that, that knot there, any knot, will catch inside of an Alderney ring and it won't. The way an Alderney ring works is it slides right down your anchor rope until it gets to your anchor. If there is a knot in the middle, it won't. It will slide as far as the knot and get stuck. But if you put a splice in like this, it is a smooth, streamlined join that will allow an Alderney ring to slide over. All I would do is I would just tape up these bits. Oh yeah, you just hold on to those for a second. There you go, a joining splice. Now I'm going to be showing you in three stranded polypropylene here. All I'm going to do is, however big your join is, you want half from each side. So that's how long I'm going to go from there and that's how long I'm going to have from the other side. And I'll just bind it up with tape, then unravel it. I'll show you. Take some white. I'll use white and red. No, no, I don't need to use black for this one. You make sure you keep me right. Now look, hold it up this way, it doesn't unravel all the way. And all I want to do is take that off. I'll tape up each of my ends, but all you have to do is just unwind the rope like that. I'll tape the ends up, unwind the other side, and I'll show you from there. Here you can see I've taped up the ends and I've unraveled both of them. And all you want to do is you want to make sure that they're fully spread apart. I've taped this one here and I'm holding this one here. Now you put them together so that they're even. So you've got one going one way, one going the other, one going one way, one going the other. You see how they're all together? Push them tightly together, like that. And then take all of them from both sides and pull them so that they are properly meshed together. The ones on this side, take a little piece of tape and just tape them up. Just keep them out of the way because we'll deal with these afterwards. We're tying these ones first. And all you want to do is you follow the very simple pattern of over one, under one. So this goes, this one goes over this one, under this one. Just give it a little twist to open it up. And there you go. This one is going to go under this one, sorry, over this one, under that one. Over one, under one. And all you do is you just turn the rope and the next one you come to. Now look, over one, under one. Just like that. And you just keep that pattern going.
Hey, look. I can tell if it's worked because it's in a pattern. Now we're going to go to the other side. Take this tape off. And you're going to do the, the same thing again. So if you take this white tape off here, let's hold this all. Oh, are you tired, tiger? Yeah. Okay. And as soon as I finish this, we'll go back inside. Now look. Taking your tape off. Over one, under one. So open it up. And it's just like, like that. Just follow the pattern. Next one, over one, under one. There you go, that's all of them done. There you can see a perfect join. Now, what I would do there is I would either trim these down and tape them all up so they were tucked in nice and tight like that. Or you could even take the tape off and singe them back. Because you can see there, there is no real change in the diameter. Whereas a knot is like a big ball, a lump that something will get stuck on. If it's going to slide down the rope, it will hold up on that. Whereas a splice, it will just slide right down over it and it's twice as strong there you go